doing the announcements thing um <laughs> oh boy okay um yeah i know it takes me forever to get the announcements out i was fiddling with the, oh like i, I got obs because i wanted to do the tune tour and I, I just couldn't get it to work <laughs> so yeah um I... I think you're old. So shut up. <laughs> the funny thing is you could be in my walls. Because, you know... I have no walls right now. <laughs> uh... At least upstairs, there's no walls. Uh... Okay, good. So the the chat thing is working. All right, cool, 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 cool. E. I, I, <laughs> I would like some help with the tune tuber thing. I tried following. Scott Falco's tutorial for it and it just goes over my fucking head. But I did the Skyrim macro is to send me <laughs> Here you want Minecraft back? There you go. You can have Minecraft back. <laughs> hey Hey me Beagle. Uh um <laughs> shut up. <laughs> um yeah, I was trying to follow Scott Foco's tutorial thing, because I at least have one of the emotes kind of done other than the horns and the, the, the tail is not done yet. 
But, um, I could not figure it out for the life of me. Um, like, it just wasn't working. And I was, like, getting frustrated. And then my alarm went off and I was like, okay, well, uh, I can't do that now, I guess. But, um, I think I kind of got... Uh, OBS to kind of mimic how I had it on Streamlabs. Uh, it's not completely perfect, and I did change some things. Um, let's see. I'm still doing the announcement thing because, yeah, I'm not prepared. Not prepared at all. Never prepared. But, thank you for coming so far. Yes. Uh, I'll just go here. There we go. Hi. Little, I, I was able to flip it. So, yay. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, I want the Toon Tuber thing to work so that I can do the Toon Tuber thing. Because it looks really awesome and cool, and I'll show you it. Hold on. Let me open it. While we wait for me to get my life together. Ba -ba -ba. Hey! Hello! Alright. Also, if you hear construction in the background, it's because... They are doing construction in the background. <laughs> yes, that's the cover for this chapter. <laughs> uh, is this the one that I want to open? This is the one I want to open. Okay. Um, 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 I was going to spend like the hour if I could have gotten the two tuber to work but I couldn't I was gonna spend my time like animating a little Elijah uh to go in the corner of this new setup thing uh but uh, <laughs> yeah didn't have time um so that was fun hey right. Need this. Gonna notify the peeps on um on a uh, webtoon. About the stream. There we go. I wish they would allow for Links. They said they were going to allow links, but they still haven't yet. Okay, host. E. Alright, here we go. It's open. Right. Yeah, no, no. Oh. Okay, there we go. Alright, so... Um, there you go. That's the the new two tuber without the horns because I still haven't animated the horns. Like, listen, the horns are fucking difficult. <laughs> they drip and everything, and I gotta make sure that they loop correctly. But uh, yeah, there's the horn. There, there's that. Um. Also, I want to know if I can do the horns on a separate thing, on the tube tuber thing. But, uh, yee. Um, that's that. And then I'll show you what this. E. And that's the talking thing. Yeah. I, I, I will also sort of bounce when I talk, but I not too much. The e. It looks really cool. It looks super cool. Super cool. Um, and uh, 
I did do some of the sad. So there's the sad animation for the seed. Um, and I also did animation for the Angie. Because Angie. Oh, no, so sad. <laughs> I I I don't know if the tears are gonna be a problem with the talking and stuff. If it, they're gonna flicker or anything, so uh, we will see. Um, this is the thinking. I haven't done anything for the thinking yet, and I haven't done anything for the excited yet. Uh, or the scared. I just kind of did the head, you know. Yeah. Um. See, he, he, he. coming along slowly, slowly but surely. Oh, oops! Stop playing. Okay. There we go. I think it looks really cute. So cool. I look weird without the horns. It's, it's just it's throwing me a, for a loop, like, without the horns. Also, by the way, my hair naturally does that little flip that you see me draw. Like, I sometimes wake up with, like, major bedhead with that, that flip up there. Um, so that is, my hair does do an anime. Does do the anime thing. Uh, hold on. Better, but, 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 um, just one more link to put. Click here. Um, I'm hoping to get this done eventually. <sighs> it's, you know, with, uh, with comic shit doesn't always happen. The shark hair. Yes, I have shark hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also, uh, hold on. I will show you what the sketch looks like for this. Oop. There we go. So that's the sketch. There's the horns. I think I translated it nicely. I look so super kawaii. Just fucking cheat me when I say that. <laughs> Alright, uh, I gotta close the door because loud construction work. Boop. Ah. Uh, you can reach, you can reach. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you like doing art and watching. Um. Oh, I realized I don't have the music on this. Hold on, let me... Copy. Wow, there we go, okay. I realized that there was no music on this. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to separate all the, all the sounds from uh, each other, because, you know. Yay, all right. Um, no, I would not like to save that. Thank you. And we will open that back up. Alright. Boop, boop. I already have it all um, masked out and ready to go. And then I need to do this. <laughs> and do <laughs> all 
Also, um, hold on. I wanted to test something out. Sorry. Uh, 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 I'm still, I'm still playing with it over here. Okay. Is that big enough for you guys? I would like to eventually. Okay, I wanna duplicate it. No. Alright. Give me this. Give me this link. And copy. We're gonna redo this. Alright. Yes. Delete that. Thank you. Browse. Trapped two. Um, hopefully it, it works. Alright, someone type something to test it. Or, wait, no, I can test it. What am I talking about? Test aim. Let's see. Yeah! E. Awesome. Okay. It's a little off. Um, I am eventually going to like edit the uh, the chat box HTML eventually, and you know, uh, make it a custom thing. But um, for now, we'll just leave it for the default. Oh my god, it's okay. Okay, I want it like this. Yes, yes, yes. I want it like this, but I want it less. Commander? Wow! There we go. If you guys type like a big long thing, it's probably not gonna appear. <laughs> there we go. Alright. I think that should be fine. For now, until I can fix things. If, if it looks bad, I'll just remove it. Whatever. <laughs> Alright. It's actually getting to things. Oh! <sighs> Alright. Boop. I need... This is... By the way, I had I had hand drawn all those fucking flowers, so you're welcome. <laughs> Copy paste the whole B movies. Don't do that. I was literally just thinking that. Stop! 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 <laughs> you heathens! <laughs> um, I'm not gonna answer if that's Aeon's actual name or not. You will find out. <laughs> I was trying to wait until the end of this chapter, but um, I need to get this done now. 
so. <laughs> the little face because you know spoilers. <laughs> oh, no spoilers. No, no spoilers. No spoilers. You only have to wait like two weeks. Guys, you only have two weeks. Oh, shit. <sighs> I keep forgetting to do this. So, I found a new thing that I, I it makes coloring easier for me. But I have to put a new layer to do it. And if you hear banging, there is banging. Sorry. When, when they decide to do construction when you're streaming, you know. Yay. It sure is a day. <laughs> so, for some context, Andu, Meagle, and Fortune are all <laughs> all my friends and they know exactly what the fuck is going on. So, <laughs> so they're being little trolls. <laughs> Especially Regal, who actually is the editor and slight and, and, and co-writer of the Thief's Air. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Welcome! Welcome to the stream! I hope you enjoy. Bang! 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 Oh, that goes, uh, there's no way. I'm excited to see Aeon Daddy! <laughs> Why did I read that out loud? Oh, okay. Okay. Aeon is stinky man. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, I think the text is too, too big. So let's size it down a bit more. There we go. E, there we go. That looks like a decent for a video. Um, <laughs> cat, dog, child, upstairs neighbor. Uh, the banging. It is construction. They're they're doing. Um, I don't know what he's doing up there. My cousin just decided that construction is now. Um. So, yep. Not really much I can do about that. But, uh. It's, hopefully, it's not too, too loud. Oh, I don't. Here's the secret. Andu. I'm not using Photoshop. <laughs> this is this is Clip Studio. Hold on, I will show you. Clip Studio. There we go. It's Clip Studio. Um Is it too loud, the banging? Because I can go tell him this, like, that I'm streaming. Maybe he can do something else. Um. Yep. 
He might be done soon. I don't know. Description lied. <laughs> oh, well, I, I do... I... Wait. What is my description? Does it not say... F Hold on. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want that. Uh, no, I don't want that either. Um, 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 content. Live. Edit. Oh, it doesn't say Photoshop. Oh, yeah, it says Photoshop. Um. Pff, hold on. <laughs> Boop. Ah, uh, Clip Studio. Clip. Studio. Paint. I do use Photoshop though. V1. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't have version 2. Eh. Save. Did that fix it? Oh, well. I mean, I, I, I do use Photoshop. It's kind of a default setting that I have for the description. Um. Anyways. It should say Clip Studio now. Uh, I am gonna go back to Photoshop, by the way. Uh, I just do the base uh, fill thing in Clip Studio because it's faster. And um, I could, yeah, fill like that. <laughs> Which you can technically fill like this in, uh, in Photoshop. It's just, it, you'd have to fix it more. Because it won't go under the lines. It'll do a weird thing. Okay, it updated. Alright, thanks. Uh... Aw, thank you. I'm glad you found me through the thief Sarah. That's That's cool. Not many people find me through the Thief Sarah, they find me through Demon Fryer. <laughs> so it's nice to know that there's still some people that find me through the Thief Sarah. <laughs> nope. Oops, sorry, one. There we go. Oh, now he's drilling. Okay, cool. <laughs> Boop. Um. That's so cold. Oh my god. <laughs> that that is dark. <laughs> that is so dark. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my god. That is such a dark joke. <laughs> oh. It's great. I love that. Um. So. The... Title chapter is well, buried memories. That's why the the thing is um, the theme here is he's dead. I don't. Uh, just here lies Aeon kind of thing. Um, uh, so. Yeah. 
that that's the theme right now. Uh, I like to play on some things that are going to happen in the series when I when it comes down to doing the um the chapter covers. I like them to like Trying to think of words. <laughs> I like them to uh, hint to what what's what's to come. Um, got your eye back then, but you get star. <laughs> uh ye um don't don't worry too much about not starting it uh sooner cuz like I literally started redoing the chapters um so y you probably come in a lot at a lot better time right now with the thieves there uh see all right uh i need i don't actually have the palette for the butterflies <laughs> so i keep taking it from the same image that's where i keep taking the the, the colors from uh i just uh take <laughs> He's just taking a little nap. <laughs> it's actually my first time watching your live streams. I don't really have the time to watch because of time zones. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I, I try I try to get the time zones to a time where European slash um, Eastern people could get the times that um can uh can see the uh the the thing oh. okay there we go um there we go butterfly I read the canvas version and got to when the gang had to go underground. Ah, uh, so you- oh, okay. So you were on the, um... So you're on Webtoon! Okay! Yeah. Uh... Right now, Webtoon is experiencing some delays. <laughs> If you want to read up to where everything is right now, it is updated to current times on the website and on uh, Tapas. Uh, Webtoon is just going to be delayed for a bit until I get all the redone stuff done. Because uh, getting Webtoon readers to go back and read something that they've already read before is like pulling out teeth <laughs> and also I just wanted to re cut a restart on webtoon uh no come on make sure all right um <laughs> now the color for the flowers. The bully butterfly. <laughs> yeah, there's also like a lot of webtoon problems. Uh, with the thief's hair that I just I, I just kind of wanted to restart because kind of yeah meh um try 
trying to figure out where the spaces are on this. I think I got all the spaces. All right. So first things first, let's do the lavender because that's easy. It's purple. Um, e. <laughs> Webtoon is missing like the entirety of the series right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh,. Like I said, I wanted to restart there, so I did. Um. Alright, and then we'll do the daisies next. Should be here. And here. Okay, daisies done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. there's some here. Um, now, maybe like a yellowish, no, I mean a brighter yellow, there we go, for the rose thing, sort of rose, I think it's a rose, I don't know, I drew a bunch of random flowers. I like to read a website. Just got. Yeah. I'm not. Lo I'm not loyal to the comic app, <laughs> but I read mostly on the webtoon and also got to tapas or stuff. Uh, do the flowers? Um, sore? Not really. No, no, not really. The flowers don't have, um, a specific meaning. Um, I'm just kind of trying to stay to the lighter colors for them because this is, these are funeral flowers. Uh. Let me just, yeah, let's do funeral flowers. So funeral flowers are usually white, pinks, light pinks, and stuff like that. Um, let's see, we'll do this for the, these ones here. music uh it is this one specifically is Hyrule Field from Twilight Princess I definitely want to hear more of the creator's perspective of webcomic things uh what specific webcomic things do you want to hear about Yeah. <laughs> uh, careful of the lilies with cats, guys. Um. I thought it was Zelda. But I don't play Twilight. Uh, yeah, it's, it's from Twilight. Uh, I have some 
like Breath of the Wild and Majora's Mask and uh, uh, or Ocarina of Time in there too. Any uh, good, bad stuff? Any good and bad stuff of web comics? Well, uh, web comics are difficult. Very, very difficult. Uh, if you're not ready to commit many, 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 many hours, I was just picking something else to do. Um, because they definitely take a toll. Um, and they definitely take a lot of your time away from stuff. Especially if you want, um, say, to have a schedule that is consistent. Heads of the funeral. I've mostly seen white, pink, and purple flowers in funerals. Depends on the person, I get. Not depends on the funeral. It depends on what the person liked in life, is, is what I guess. If they liked red flowers, then I guess they're gonna have red flowers for their funeral. Um, I'm gonna make the chat a little longer. Hold on. Show 100. Maybe 750? Okay, let's do 800 then. There we go! Okay. There we go. We can see much more. <laughs> um. That, that is interesting. I, I like, I like, I like, uh, I don't know what the, I think, actually, let's make this yellow, not, let's make this yellow here. Um, I don't know what flower this is. Uh, you can tell me. <laughs> I don't really know what each flower is. Uh, I kind of just got a reference and just went with it kind of thing. Um, actually, these might be a deeper pink. There we go. Okay. Um, sometimes what I do. Uh, seeing a lot of creators break, take breaks because their hand hurts or is injured. I know. Much, but uh, and not even with web comic creators only. Uh, yeah, uh, hand problems is a definitely a, a thing with uh, artists in general, not just web comic creators. Just artists in general mess up their hands all the time. Um, oh, it's just... Been thinking. Starting a comic and maybe posting it on Insta because that seems for on Instagram. I I don't I don't know much about posting comic pages on Instagram. I I don't do that. I barely post on Instagram. Like once in a while, I'll do like a mass post thing, but. Um, uh, if I remember to do it, I'll do it. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how many views people will get on Instagram for comics. Uh, I usually suggest posting your comics on 
comic places like Tapas, uh, Comic Fury, Webtoon, etc., etc., uh, because that's where the audience is for that specific thing. I don't usually recommend posting your comic on places where comics are not really where your target audience is. <laughs> uh, but I mean, you can. If people have been successful with it, you definitely can do it. Um, I don't personally suggest it because it's a lot harder to get your audience there. But if you think you can get them, you, you definitely try. Try. Um, but that, that's just my personal uh, thought on that. That There's been plenty of people that got an audience on those platforms. I just... I've never been able to get an audience on those platforms. But, more power to you if you got it. Um... Uh, but I mean, like, making money and stuff and reader-creator interactions and the good and bad with it. That, um, I barely make money off of my comic. Uh, at, at, at this point right now, it's just pretty much a hobby. Uh, I make more money on my part-time job. Um, I've been trying to make this my career, but it is, it is very difficult. Um... But I'm not giving up. Uh, never give up. Definitely gonna say never give up. Right, the rest of these can be this color. Um. Oops. Uh, oh, it wasn't the dead person's choice. Okay. Pink ones look kind of like fox gloves. Which are similar riddles and secrets. <laughs> Yellow one reminds me of something I don't know its name in English. What do you mean? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just not conce you, you mean you're 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 still minor? Is that what you mean? Um Uh He's drilling again. Um <laughs> What is, what is cons- what is- you're not- Oh, you're not constant. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I- I misspell things all the time. I have horrible spelling and grammar. You can just ask me, <laughs> Uh, You can ask me, Eagle and Bree. I have horrible fucking spelling. <laughs> Shit. And grammar. <laughs> they always have to fix. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I need to fix that shit. But you know, it, it takes time to remember things. Um. Being constant, yeah, you, you you do need to sort of be constant with web comics, but you don't at the same time. Honestly, your audience 
whether you post once a month or once a year, you'll get an audience. There is always someone that will read your stuff. Um, that's what I, I like to tell people. Like, there will be an audience, and if you start with um, opening that you're not going to be constant with updates, that there might be some time between uh, each update, that you're busy, blah blah blah, you know, um, that they, they will understand, the audience will understand, there will still be naysayers and uh, nay entitled readers um, because there always uh, is um, yeah so don't worry about keeping it constant constant updates when you first start out because uh, not everyone can do that it takes practice and knowing your limits before you can start getting that Okay, why am I doing that? I don't need to do that right now. I, I do that on Photoshop. Um, <laughs> Alright, and then the next thing I need to do is open this one. Uh... creating a community that enjoys something I made. Exactly! That That's all you need. It, it, you just... Don't worry about what the audience is gonna think and blah blah blah. Just make something that you're gonna enjoy first, b foremost, before um, any any audience. Um, and again, the audience will come with with the um with whatever you can put out like you, don't worry about it nope I did it again <laughs> kingdom hearts You can always, so, so with, if you're worried that you can't do the workload and stuff, figure out how long it takes you to do one page, by the way. Um, figure out how long it takes you to do one page. Then from there, uh, hold on, ho hoard your pages. Hoard your pages until you have a comfortable buffer. And once you have a comfortable buffer of pages, uh, and you feel like posting, you can post and still work comfortably, uh, that that is that is where what what you could do if you want to be able to post weekly etc etc um personally i would love to have like two chapters ahead but uh i'm impatient and just being 20 pages ahead uh, drives me crazy <laughs> um <laughs> uh I like to know what you guys are going to say in the comments, and I like to know... Yeah, uh, so, like... Hello, hello, hello! Um... Oh my god, he's banging really hard. 
So sorry about the construction. Uh, I mean, don't worry about... Again, don't worry about audience. Don't worry about audience. Don't worry about readership. Etc, etc. Make the comics for yourself. Do not make comics for an audience. Uh, that is... Asking for disaster. <laughs> Eventually. And, um... you'll you'll lose your passion for the comic uh, a lot faster than if you were making the comic for yourself. Um, because then you're just kind of listening to the audience and you're making something that you think the audience would like, but you personally, you probably are like, this isn't what I want to write, etc. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> there we go. Now we're in Photoshop. <laughs> um, you just uh, write things that you would like. Uh, forget, forget the readers. Later on, you can think about the readers. When you're starting out, don't think about readers. Um. You liking the story is more important than a reader liking the story because, again, you will find your audience. The audience will come to you. You do not have to go looking for them. They will come to you. Have a nice night. Hope you sleep well. Um. Yeah. Build it and they will come. Don't worry about whether the audience is going to like it or not. Because that's not the audience you want. The audience you want will come. Uh, with time. Even if you ever say it. Again, I made the thief's air not thinking about whether or not people would like it or anything. I made the thief's air uh, because I like it. I like fantasy. I like. I like. Um. I like the themes that are in this story. Uh, I like making characters that are troublesome at first and watching them develop. Uh, I like having tons and tons of angst in my story. And so happens other people do too. <laughs> I like bullying the main character. So happens everyone likes to bully the main character too. <laughs> well, most people like to bully Aeon. Uh, there is a, a small fraction of people that actually defend all his actions. <laughs> and don't bully him with me. <laughs> Uh, they they say Aeon is baby, and I'm like, mm, maybe, <laughs> maybe he was a baby once. <laughs> right now, this man knows what he's doing wrong. <laughs> he knows what he is doing wrong, and he continues to do it. <laughs> he's learning. He's learning. Um. We have had some character development. He has said sorry to um, Freya for once. <laughs> Aeon is a toddler. <laughs> Aeon is a baby. He is a toddler. He has he is in his terrible twos.
he is throwing tantrums left and right. Boop. Don't. Yeah, like, 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 there is a difference between, like, like, um, enjoying a character and stuff. Like, I can enjoy all of the villain characters. I love my villain characters so much. But I do not condone anything that they do because they are evil little shitheads and deserve to lose. But Aeon is a hero. He is a shithead. Let's get that clear. He is a shithead. And he does deserve some of the punishment that he gets. But... At the end of the day, he is the protagonist, and we do want to see him win. And we do want to see him make it to the end. And finally get something right. And I just realized what this is right here. All right, there we go. Um, we want him to win. We want him to do that there. We don't have more of this yellow. Uh, we want him to. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's been without parents for a while. I guess <laughs> he, he is still mentally twelve. <laughs> He is still a child at heart. But he does need to grow up a bit because he is 25. Which actually I surprised some readers that saying that he was 25. People thought he was like in his teens. <laughs> and I was like, no, this guy's a man. <laughs> He's an adult. He is 100% an adult now. Okay. And there we go. By the way, there we go. Deep stare. Um, he is. Oh, yeah, you spelled Freya right. Don't worry. Okay. Um, 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 um grab this again. No, I, I... I would not want to see Freya um, either be uh, gone from Aeon's life. Uh, especially since he desperately needs her. I picked the wrong thing. Hold on. Um. He, he desperately still needs her. He's like a team with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> He is a big man, baby, as Freya put it. Man child. Boop. I love doing this background. The, the water background because I don't have to do much for it <laughs> laziness <laughs> laziness for the wind <laughs> listen once you see like the 
opening scene for this next chapter, you'll understand why I do not like. I'll just like. Numb my backgrounds, please. <laughs> Everyone can live in a gradient. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> we all do that. We all just... Ugh. Flood. <laughs> so, we're gonna flood the entirety of the... The thief's hair, and it's gonna be great because it will just be nothing but red water everywhere. <laughs> Technically, it's black water, but um, I do the red in it because it looks cool. <laughs> but technically, this is black water. That that scene is the black water scene. It's just it would look really, really like played if it wasn't if it didn't have um anything else. Alright. Boop. I need his there we go. Alright. Time to do the the blushing. Oh, wow. Uh. <laughs> Undertale. <laughs> Anne in his underwear jump scare. <laughs> well, I need to know what his scars kind of look like on his his body. Like, I do have a scar chart for him, but it is sometimes hard to follow there we go and then we do that there we go and that is how I do the blushing it's very subtle, um, much more subtle than uh, Demon Fire, <laughs> definitely. Uh, Demon for Hire has no subtlety. Oh, there will be more scars to the chart, by the way. He can heal superficial ones, like the one that was on his nose that healed fine. Um, but definitely there's gonna be more, more scars. There will be more scars uh, on him later in time. Uh, we we haven't even gotten to the battle yet. The battles yet, so <laughs> there will be more. Uh,
Yay. All right, there we go. Boop. The secondary uh, flats are done. Oh, wait, no. No, they're not. What am I talking about? Someone is missing something. And we know who it is, so it is missing. Boop. The butterfly! The butterfly is missing. His stuff. Alright. So, you are about to see something that I do for the butterfly. All right, there we go. Yes, there will be battles. Did you think that they were just gonna sit there and talk? This is an action drama. They are gonna fight. There are gonna be fights. There will be action. I just haven't put much in, because, you know, I'm... Wait, hold on. Let me do it this way first. There, there's, there is going to be battles. I guess it makes sense, but I kind of, I kind of battle like fight a big group of people on the street or battle the Helms Deep. Um, <laughs> there is a demon and uh, spirit war right now going on in the story. So it will be more of a them versus us battle. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> that that that's the type of battle. Oh shit! Okay. It's, it's, I don't know how you miss that. Uh, <laughs> it's literally talked about a lot. Uh, that, that, especially in the recent pages. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's a whole demon versus spirit thing going on. Um. It's uh I probably forgot. <laughs> yeah, they they talk about it. Uh, uh uh a lot of the demons get discriminated against. Uh I mean, there are a lot of bad demons, but like yeah, like um <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> uh <laughs> By the way, I I just copied and pasted this butterfly that was on his face to here. That's how lazy I was to draw this again. Actually, what am I doing? What 
It's literally the same butterfly. Wow. So lazy. <laughs> um Yeah, there's there's a there's a whole demon and spirit war going on. Aeon is kind of slap dab in the middle of it. Uh Uh, and a lot of that is thanks to some mistakes that a couple of spirits made. Yay. And you can thank them. Okay, I think I can put that down there and do this. So, I'm very lazy. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't want to do the design over and over again. It's so annoying. Okay, there we go. There we go. Am I a Power Ranger fan? Uh, not really. No. I, I didn't like Power Rangers growing up. Uh, I, and I haven't really watched them since I was a child, so... <laughs> Why work hard when you can work smarter, yeah? Yeah, that, why do you think Aeon's bomb got killed? <laughs> it wasn't just because of racism and stuff, it was because they're at war against uh, demons and stuff, so... Um, yeah, they, they were just like, yeah, die. Ah, uh, there's a new anime. Uh, okay. Uh, no, I'm not into Power Rangers. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against them. I just I, they're not my cup of tea. Uh, same goes for um, like mechas and stuff. I d I'm not really into that. Um, all right. That, that, cause I need to see what I am, cause it's too dark, oh no. I feel like I'm not It's fine. It's really fine. <laughs> it's mostly been hinted to. It, they haven't really said it outright, but yeah, it's... It's... It's, um... 
It's been hinted to a lot. Uh, it's fine if you did, didn't realize it. But yeah, there, there's a war going on. Um, it's just... They aren't in the middle of it. Right now. Uh, as much as Aeon would love to get out of it, but... And not have to deal with any of this. Uh, he is... Unfortunately, part of it. Um, because he's not human, and because of who his parents are, which you will find out who his parents are soon, yay, not spoiling anything, but we already know who his dad is, so, like, not really anything. <laughs> um... Binged it two days ago. Uh, uh, um, are you talking about Hazel or who are you talking about? Describe what they look like because there are many women <laughs> in this story. <laughs> uh, Saziel is 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 a spirit. Yes, she is. Um, Robert is also a spirit, but he is a demon spirit. Uh, the twins are what is called the Sphera, or aka vampires. It's a fancy word to say vampires. Um... <laughs> And technically this world doesn't have shading, but you know, I'm doing it anyways because it would look weird if it was flat for the cover. Um, yeah, T the, describe what the lady looks like. Though, I mean, if you describe blonde lady, the, there's there's quite a few of them. <laughs> uh, uh, so, demon spirits are on the quote-unquote bad side of the war because they are corrupted spirits that have a hunger for like destruction and shit um lots to do with how they're made uh and who made them uh which you do find out you did find out how how spirit you didn't find out how they're made, you just found out who makes them, and uh, that is the Demon Queen. She is big bad. She is definitely big bad. Um, she creates the demons and she, from spirits, it corrupts them into demon spirits. And then, uh, she manipulates people. She can manipulate people if it, if, if it isn't obvious through what she's doing with Aeon throughout the entirety of the story, she is manipulating him. <laughs> um, uh, you did just find out that the, the spirit in his head is the demon queen, but I've never really kept that secret. Uh, 
I didn't think it needed to be secret. Um, but yeah. Now the Demon King's identity is a little more secret. Um, do you have seen him maybe a few times so far in the story? Where he is, I am not gonna tell you. But I think if you if you were paying attention, can't keep crow plus. Well, I mean they they're they're in a war right now. They're literally in the war right now. <laughs> Did I not make this clear? <laughs> It's a back and forth between the, the divinities and the demon queen right now. Um. <laughs> Hold on. That you guys are gaslighting me. <laughs> You're boss in a war. <laughs> you guys. I mean, it's not a very. Oh, what 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 just happened? Hello? What is Photoshop doing? Okay, um, I, I don't know what happened, but, um, something happened. Okay. Okay. Is it just, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> Sorry! Uh... Let's see. Hold on. Interesting. What if I do this? Hold on. Her turn. Uh. Oh, no, I don't want to open that. Wait, what am I doing? Sorry, that's really scary looking. <laughs> it, it's a webtoon thumbnail, by the way. It, it, it was for Halloween. It was meant to be scary. <laughs> uh, okay, it seems to... <laughs> it seems to be working. It's it's a thumbnail for uh, webtoon. Um, it was for Halloween. It was it was they they got uh, some things for Halloween and people just you know. Maybe if I do this one instead. Okay. Yeah, I can see it better that way. 
Um, also, I'm gonna try a new, um, shading style. Um... For the... the current chapter. Um... Something similar to what I did for... Uh... Valentine Kerr. Uh... Where... It's more gradient base rather than what I've been doing. I just I I I want to make things a little easier for myself. <laughs> His ears are full on pointy now. Yes, they've been slowly getting pointier and pointier. Uh, now they're kind of at their quote unquote max uh, pointiness. That's as pointy as they're getting. Um, now, lengthwise is a different story. But, uh, pointiness, yeah, that, that's as pointy as they're getting. He is a spirit, and spirits do have longer, pointier ears, uh, when they kind of go full, full spirit mode. Yes, he's getting more demonic. Oh, he has he has sharp teeth now. He had pointy teeth too. Hold on, let me see. If I can find a page with his teeth open and it is not a spoiler page. Here we go. Nope. Nope. Not really. Never mind. I lied. That's a, that, that's not a good page. Uh. Yeah, I guess the page where he's actually showing. There we go. Four. He's four pointed tit. And his feathered back. It's pointy ears. The other reason people didn't see the point on his ears was because of this hair tuff here. <laughs> it's right here. Um, that was on purpose. I did that on purpose so people don't notice. He got pointed head. Yes, he's getting feathers now. On his back. And some of them are spotted. With like little white spots on them. Again, he is a strange one. He's a bird. <laughs> I guess if you want to call him a bird, I guess he's a bird. Um <laughs> He, he's more of a, a dragon than a bird, but sure. <laughs> we can call him a bird if you want. <laughs> listen, listen. This is gonna be the last. Uh, well, I can't say that. It's gonna be the last story with the others. But, uh, at least they can retract their wings in this story. I swear to god, if I go back to People of Icarus, I'm gonna make it so that they can retract their wings. Because, uh, fuck that. I'm not drawing <laughs> fucking wings every fucking time. Oh, uh, no. Um...
Yes, I know, but the thief's hair was 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 feathers before people of Icarus, and 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 they can at least retract their bird wing things, their angel wings. Um, so it's not as bad. And also, his feathers are mostly hitting most of the time. It was only during that scene there that I was showing his feathers because, um, it's, oh my god, I am not human scene. Him realizing he is definitely 100% not fucking fully human. Like he thinks he is. Even though, like, dude, you know you're not human. You've always known that you're not human. Like, he is so far in denial, he's drowning <laughs> in the river. He's in denial. Yes, he is so far in denial of what he is and who he was for the longest time. Motherfucker sees his dad on fucking bills all the time. Like, his dad's face is on the money. I'm pretty sure he looked at that and was like, there is some similarities here, but the fact that he is so in denial of everything about himself is <laughs> he didn't think hey I look pretty much exactly like this fucking dude on the dollar bill <laughs> he was like no fucking way <laughs> I'm a prince <laughs> <laughs> he was like, not, not, I, I don't look like this person. <laughs> Everyone else is like, dude, <laughs> really? <laughs> Aeon only has two stages of grief, and that is denial. <laughs> Anchor. And that's all he ever is gonna do. <laughs> he doesn't want to admit that he would be the hottest bird in the group. <laughs> he he is something else. Everyone else sees sees what he is denying. <laughs> he sees. I mean, he just needs to turn around in that fucking room and look at the fucking painting and be like, yeah, yep, I definitely look like the king. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> don't don't take another three years to come back. No, come back sooner. Um, <laughs> listen. He's <sighs> anyone with eyes can tell who the fuck he's related to. Heck, I, I'm pretty sure he's no, 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 he doesn't sound like his dad. Never mind. No. Not based off the headcanon. His dad has a lot deeper voice than he does. Um. But. But, but, but. 
he definitely looks a lot like Gabriel, and everyone can see it. Like, well, it took Faye a fucking minute, but she's a fucking idiot, so. <laughs> I love Faye, but she is also a fucking idiot as well. Uh, uh, she's all bronze, no brains. <laughs> That's that's me being nice. Yes, he needs bird therapy. Um <laughs> Boop. I I I can't wait for you guys to get to the end of this chapter. It's only like another two weeks, I think. Is it another two weeks? Hold on. Where are we? Where are we publicly? Oh, I don't know why I'm here. Go on, go on, Tapas. Gives me a, a clear view <laughs> of uh, what is what is the schedule like? Okay. Stop. No, we're three weeks. Okay. Well, technically, if we don't count this week, it's another two weeks after this this this, this week update. Um, we are gonna get story time, which is gonna hint to something, and so pay attention to that. Um, very much pay attention to what Robin is saying in that story time um it is just two pages though of story time um and then the rest the the last update is a big update so yay Um, and then we will go to a small hiatus. Um, well, uh, I finish up chapter nine. It might not be that long of a hiatus because I am almost done with the, uh, the next pages but I I might hold it off just a little bit longer so that I can um, so I'm not rushing pages and stuff so I will do another 20 I want to get like halfway through the chapter before I start posting the chapter again because that's, that's what I usually like to do because then it gives me a lot of time gives me a lot of time to do uh do other stuff like uh being able to animate my tune tuber or um what is it is your code Right, do 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 the uh the, the chapter one stuff, which I have to do backgrounds again because I uh I lost all the backgrounds. Yay. Yay for that. But hey, for once I'm gonna have the chapter <laughs> The chapter cover done before the chap the new chapter starts, which never happens because I never know what I want to do for the chapter cover, and it takes me forever to figure out what I want for it. I don't have to do chapter covers, like, but, but I like to do chapter covers because I feel like it it gets you guys ready for the the um 
the next chapter and what, what it's gonna be about and stuff like that. Um, also, it's nice to have just something to be able to print. <laughs> nice little illustration to be able to print from time to time. Because I do not make a lot of art for the Thieves' Air. Mainly because I the art that I want to do, um, I can't yet. Because it's spoilery. Sneak peeks. Yes. I, uh, I want to do lots of art with the Demon King, but I can't do it yet. Because it's spoilery. And I want to wait until a certain point in the story where you guys will understand something about him. Listen, I just like drawing the Demon King. But, um... I might eventually start doing something with Patreon patrons to try and incentivize myself drawing more illustrations and shit for for the thief's hair because I find that I, I, I just don't have many opportunities to draw something for it unlike demon for hire which is a lot easier because they're just doing mundane things I could draw them doing like mundane things like grocery shopping or like kissing <laughs> <laughs> or uh, you know at a restaurant or something like I guess I can do that with the thief's hair it was just it wouldn't be totally 100% canon I guess you know what maybe I should do like AU shit for the thief's hair Mundane. Yes, mundane. Demon for Hire has a lot more opportunities for drawing because it's it's based in now time and not some fantasy world. Do I do more art for it? No, cause I'm I got too much shit to do. <laughs> Hence why Demon Friars on Sidus. Cause I just don't have time for it. And I know Demon Friar is a lot more popular than the Thieves there, but I I want to get through the Thief's Hair. It's been going long enough. I mean, eight years, Jesus Christ. I don't want to keep doing it for like another ten years. You know? Characters kissing is Monday, and that's just cute little thing to do. They're just fluffy, fluffy art. I don't know. I don't. I don't read the ro romance drawn or stuff, so I don't see the appeal of like, will they kiss or no? I'm just gonna tell you now. Aeon and Freya will kiss. <laughs> There's no will they, won't they. It's just like, when will they? <laughs> I 
I mean, I have romance in my stories, but like, e. I don't really count them as romance stories. They're not. That's not the focus. Dad is definitely one hundred percent not the focus. I was gonna say, like, Aeon and Freya are probably the last hetero couples you'll ever see from me, but that's not true. That's not true. I do have some hetero characters. Well, hetero passing characters. They're all still pretty gay. Okay. Aeon? It's probably the only straight protagonist that you're gonna see from me for ever again. <laughs> yes, Aeon is straight. Even though people like to think he's not, he is straight. Yes, he is. Boop, boop. <laughs> yep. They will kiss. Don't worry. If you want to know what chapter they're gonna kiss, I can tell you. I know exactly what chapter they're gonna kiss. It's technically already written out. It is a funny kiss, though. It is. Funny. I'm not gonna give them all this romantic build-up and shit. No. No, no romantic build-up. Just... Oh, they kissed. <laughs> okay, it's not- it's not that, like... <laughs> It's not that anticlimactic, but like. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be an awkward, funny kiss, yeah. <laughs> Mainly because it just. it just happens. Thanks to. this guy. This guy here. He just goes for it. Probably not at the greatest time, but you know, he goes for it. And then Freya kinda has this 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 freak out about it. Yeah. Yeah. And then they kiss again. Okay. There you go. You get two kisses. <laughs> Being any sort of romantic. He is not romantic at all. No, you are correct. He's not a romantic kind of guy. He. Rule of thumb is he can't be romantic. <laughs> he's not. He is. He cracks jokes when things are like tense and I love that about him. He's he doesn't crack as many jokes as he could have though. Uh I have there's been a he has, he's had too many angry moments lately, so um Definitely, definitely Robin cracks more jokes than he does. 
<laughs> right now. Um, but he does crack jokes sometimes, and and it it he is awkward. He's very fucking awkward. <laughs> that's all you're doing. That's all you're getting. Yeah. <laughs> At least for a while, that's all you're getting. <laughs> I do know that there's been people um, waiting for the whole romance part of the story, so. I give it to them. I give it to them. It's in the middle of the story, but give them. Give them what they want. You get the romance! Because the other side of the romance, especially with the demon king and queen, is not romantic at all. I, I, it, it's not romance at all. It's uh, abuse, pretty much, so... You get your fluff, but also there are some... A bad rom romance shit, and I hope no one actually fucking ships the demon queen and king for the fact of ooh, pretty much the basic abuse that is their relationship. Heavy topics, by the way. <laughs> Welcome to my stream where I talk about heavy topics. <laughs> I try to deflect them with the humor. Um, yeah, uh, very heavy. Um, <laughs> they're hoping for romance cake, and you're giving them romance peanuts. <laughs> yes, I did warn people. I did warn people in the, the intermissions that this is not a romance and don't expect a big romantic thing. So if they came in expecting romance, then they need to leave. <laughs> they got the wrong story, they need to leave. Because <laughs> they're going to be disappointed. It's the same with Demon for Hire. People come in expecting boy love stuff and I'm like... It... It, it's not. There is no romance in Demon for Hire. And they're like, but you draw romantic things in the, the picture. Yeah, because I'm drawing fluff. To, like, it's just art. It's just art on the side. It does, does not mean that it's going to happen in the story. Sorry to burst everyone's bubble, but it, like in the story, they don't actually get together. <laughs> Um, like, th there's too much happening for, like, romance to be in that story. Like, again, it's not a BL. Like, I draw little romantic things of them. It's called fluff. And that is what I like to draw with them. Because they're fluffy. I, I do ship them, but, like... In the story, they're not really, they're not really together, and they don't really go together in the story because there's just no room for it. It's a horror. <laughs> it's a horror for crying out loud. I know there's gonna be a lot of weird chippers for uh, the thieves there. I mean, uh, uh, there. Oh my god. So, with some friends, I was making a story called Address. There is a seven year old boy, okay? There is a physical seven year old boy, and there were people shipping him 
with a 32-year-old man. It was disgusting. Like, so disgusting. And it was very, oh my god. And they were like, well, I see romance on this. And it was like... <laughs> no romance, the horror. Um, <laughs> I was like, dude, it is a father figure relationship that is happening here. There is nothing romantic with these two characters at all. It is a father figure relationship that they are having. Uh, because the kid is an orphan. And he is attaching to the closest fucking adult that is showing him actual fucking concern and shit. Like, ugh, it was so gross. It was, it was so gross. Like, this was before modern being able to moderate comments on Webtoon. So we would just comment like, we're going to call the police. <laughs> but like, it was so gross. Like. Oh, no. Don't fucking ship a child with a fucking adult. And then and then they're like, well, we ship them when they're when he's an adult and 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 shit. And it's like, no! No! First things first, the character is not an adult in the story. He won't be an adult in the story for a very fucking long time. You'll never see him as an adult in the story. Don't fucking ship my fucking seven-year-old child character with a fucking 32-year-old man. I, I, I address, if you've what, read address, you address people will know what I'm talking about. Like, what characters I'm talking about. It's just, ugh. Some people ship really disgusting, disgusting things. Like, no, you, you need, you need help if you're, you're, like, shipping kids with adults. Sorry, but you definitely need help. <laughs> um... Like, yeah, the, the, the character would eventually... It's spoilers for people. Um, but we're not going to continue address, so it doesn't really fucking matter. Uh, the the 32-year-old man would eventually adopt the 7-year-old the, the um, as his son. And it was going to be cute and adorable and uh, wholesome. And uh, the webtoon readers were ruining it. <laughs> Uh, those ki those types of comments I will I will delete and ban people if they fucking ship shit like that. Uh, like Robin is an adult, but I do kind of get the ick when people ship him with like say Aeon. Like I know he's an adult. And. Uh, but uh, I, I've kind of drawn him kind of child coded a bit. Um, yes, he is an adult, but that race is very child coded. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, <laughs> uh, not to say like sure people can't have relationships and shit, or people that look young can't have relationships and shit, but it is kind of icky. Um, to ship Robin with other people because he does have a child face and I'm going to admit that he does have a child face <laughs> he is a baby <laughs> he is a babysitter though <laughs> I mean he is an adult he is a, he is a fucking grown man the body is also an adult. Like, he's not... Yeah. Um, but I, I just... Don't ship him. Don't ship him with anyone. Is all I'm gonna say. 
Also, he is ace, by the way, so it's kind of a little icky to be... Eh. I don't know. It's a little icky. It's a little icky. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Could be also my preferences of shit painting and shit. I don't like when a character looks too childlike. It's, uh. Yeah. He got Aeon, he wants to keep him safe, and that's it. That's it. That's all you need to know about Robin. <laughs> nothing, nothing else. Nothing else. I'm gonna say though that Ray has been in relationships though, just not in the Robin body. Ray has had relationships. I, I mean, he is ace. He, it does not mean he's aromantic. Um, he is pan-romantic and he is ace no matter what, by the way. <laughs> Which is why he laughed at Aeon about the whole dad thing. He's like, are you my dad? <laughs> He's like, no, fuck that. <laughs> I don't have children. I never want to have children. <laughs> There's many reasons that I don't want to have children, and you are one of them. <laughs> Cool art. Is this from a Yep, yep, this is from a webcomic. Um it's called The Thief's Air. Uh it is on uh Tapas in its own website, which are linked below. It's also on Webtoon, but um it's kind of behind on Webtoon, so I would suggest reading it on the other two websites right now. Um because it will be behind on Webtoon for a little while longer because I am currently doing a rewrite slash redraw. It's... and, um... I wanted to continue posting normally, but also, like, a Webtoon... I, I, I... Yeah, web Webtoon is a little... There, there's a lot going on with Webtoon. <laughs> And so I kind of just kind of restarted on him too. So, um, yeah. If you want to read it, it's there. No sweat, though. It is like 400 and something pages. So it is a long read. I, I believe people said that they can get through it in a day, though. But that that's if you're reading like fast, I guess. Uh, personally, I probably it probably would take me a couple days before I can get read it, read it through it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I eat the read a demon for hire. E. Um. It has demons in it. It is just more fantasy based. Um. Uh, and it has about the same amount of mystery, I, I, I suppose, as Demon for Hire. Uh, definitely Demon for Hire is, uh, a little more LGBTQ, uh, where the Thief's Hair is an older story, uh, where I wasn't really as comfortable with making my main characters and stuff. LGBT, so he is he is he is a straight man. He is a straight man there, um, but it there is a lot of LGBT characters in there. Um, uh, also, it's very fantasy based, so there's lots of world building. Um, if you enjoy world building, you'll enjoy this. Not everyone enjoys world building, though, because they gotta remember a lot of stuff. Which I understand! That's why a lot of people like Demon for Hire, because there's not much world building. It's, uh... It's very much... Pretty much co whatever common knowledge you have of demons and, and monsters and shit, and that's it. That's all you need to know. The common knowledge of any demon slash vampire slash werewolf slash whatever. <laughs> I kind of made demon for a very minimal effort. <laughs> I wanted like very minimal effort when I came to demon for hire. Cause like there's so much effort in the thieves there. Oh my god. Though I do love the Thieves' Hair. It is, it is my favorite story so far that I have made right now. Um, I do like Demon for Hire, but... Eh, the Thieves' Hair is my first baby. <laughs> disaster you're just like greedy now <laughs> chop chop me <laughs> Jesus disaster <laughs> uh, uh. I am also a procrastinator to my core as well. It, it like, it, if a story has too much text to it, I, I refuse to read it because it's too much effort. <laughs> uh, uh, there is a lot of explaining at the beginning of the story. I'm going to warn you that um, it's not too too much exposition but there is a lot of explaining kind of the magic system a bit and then the rest of it kind of goes um a, a little more as you read you learn so you won't learn everything at the beginning if you want in depth um information there are guides that i made uh f like race guides and stuff like that but most of the stuff you just kind of learn within the story uh just a lot of people were asking for like information that was not in the story and it was like okay well i guess we'll give it to you but like y y most of the stuff you don't have to read the race guides or anything like so, don't worry, you don't have to read those big long text ones, only if you want to have uh, more information about the world. Uh, it's just there, in case you want to, like, go and read it. 
but you don't need it to be immersed with the world because it does explain. I do go into some depth with some stuff, especially when it comes to spirits. Um. I try to keep things simple, very, very not text heavy because personally I don't like text heavy stuff myself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, if you like The Hobbit, you probably will like The Thief's Hair. Um, not that I've actually read The Hobbit. I've never read The Hobbit. Uh, books that I guess kind of ins are inspired by um, are like um, Aragon uh, is a very good fantasy story that I, I liked to read back in the day. Um... Jeez, what did inspire? I, I guess King Arthur stories, like, there's lots of King Ar Arthur stories that kind of inspire. Oh my god, I, I just realized what I did. <laughs> I deleted something that I wasn't supposed to delete. God damn it. It's too far back to bring it back. We'll just have to do it again! Stupid. I took away the sparkles in the water. Whoops. Whoopsie. There we go. All right. Okay. So, I want to do something different with shading. Oop. Did that wrong. There we go. Um, let me bring up a Valentine Curse so that I can see how I did this. I don't know if I'll be able to bring up the page itself because sometimes it crashes uh photoshop uh because it's huge <laughs> Sparkle, Blackwater, savaged. Yep, yep, yep. Salvaged, salvaged, salvaged. There you go. All right, I really like this this one right here. All right. It's lighting. What is this? That's not okay. Lines. I don't care. It's lines. It's background lines. Lighting. Again. Window. Reflection. That is the black. Okay. Here we are. So it's kind of like, like, uh, this blue, I think, right here. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta do this. Um, 
I'm gonna do this. This. And then... It always looks weird when I do this. <laughs> nope. Nope. That is the wrong color. There we go. Oh, and do this. There we go. Um, doop, boop, there we go. Oh. Come on, come on. Outside, thank you. Delete. Delete it. Thank you. Jesus. Alright. Uh, uh. Wait, what? Why is this not... Hold on. There we go. And that's how I do the blacks. The spot blacks. <laughs> For... The comic. There we go. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I will probably do this. So, something like that, and then Want it, I want it to look like this because this is a lot faster to shade it if it's like this. Um, then say shading it how I usually do, which is like a double shade kind of thing. I just I don't know how well this is gonna look on Aeon because he is very much red. And red don't look really that great with blue. Or at least the orange part, the orangey red doesn't look really that great with blue.
Yeah, because look at the orange. It doesn't look that great. Maybe I should use a different... No. Maybe it'll look better once I do lighting and shit. I don't know. We'll see. There's a lot of blues in Valentine Kerr, which made it easier. Yeah, shading shading's always been hard for me, too. Um better when I do the um, the other stuff to it. Let's see. Not what I wanted. Okay. Bring that down so that I can see. Yeah, it's probably because I haven't I haven't done all the rest of the light part of the lighting. Um, that it's not looking too great. Um Cause I'll show you what normally I do. Hold on, let me bring up. Uh, the last uh, cover thing, I guess. I do like this cover there. Like, it's great and all, but it takes forever to shade because I do this double shading thing, which you barely notice, anyways. Like, people barely notice it anyways, so. Because a lot of it gets hidden by the bounce light part of this. It is nice on the hair, though. Um, I might keep it for the hair doing the double shading. I don't know yet. But we'll see how this turns out. If I if I don't like it, I can always go over and do the double shading. I just I want to try something before I start doing it in the comic, you know, because um, then I will probably have to fix a bunch of shit, and I don't want to have to do that. Oof. Oh. 
Like, just even adding the bounce light is making it look a hundred times better. Bounce definitely gives it a lot of dimension. But you can't really see the bounce light on lighter colors. Lighting is a very difficult thing that takes a lot of time and a lot of trial and error. Believe me, it's it's been a lot of trial and error finding out new techniques from other artists, uh, trying to implement things that I like from other artists, etc., etc. It's it it's definitely been a process. I've finally sort of gotten to a point where I like what I what I do but um it, it definitely there's a lot of ways I could probably be streamlining it a little more cuz it is it does take a lot of time it does take me a long time to get through this the shading process of uh both my comics um I have finally streamlined doing the the spot blacking instead of hand doing it like an idiot, but you know whatever. I mean, I mean, I mean, I've been, I mean, I still do it hand by hand, but like, I I should have just been doing the normal shading and then just changing where I need the spot blacks to be to be black instead of like. I've been doing it a really weird roundabout way when I could have been doing it easier, is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh. Is that people? Yeah, every everyone's gonna... Like, you're gonna be your worst critique. You're gonna be your worst critic. Um, no one notices the mistakes. No one notices uh, the things that you that bother you. They're they're just gonna bother you. So it's trying to get out of that perfectionism mentality that most artists have. That is hard, but uh, once you do. It should it should be smooth sailing from there. Okay, yeah, that that is worlds better now that I put the bounce on it. I get to keep telling myself it will look better once I start doing the lighting and stuff. I just do the shades. It's, it's gotta look flat. Duh. Because it's just shading. It's not actual lighting and shit. There we go. Okay. I don't know if it should be blue or if it should be red. The whole thing is red, but blue always pops out more. Hold on, let me put it as red. Maybe pink? Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, but then it's not popping on his hair. Maybe a lighter pink? What do you think? The blue or the pink? Yeah, 
It is a bounce light. I'm, I'm gonna let you know. It is bouncing. It's a light that's bouncing off of other stuff. So normally I do blue because, you know, um, the bounce light, usually when you look at it, it looks kind of bluish. But, I don't know. Hmm. Do the blue again? Okay. That is the blue. It pops a lot more. But this is a very red scene. So... I hate people that fix art on TikTok. Like, oh uh, yeah, I hate, I hate people that fix, fix quote unquote art. <sighs> I think you think blue. Okay, yeah, we'll leave it blue. All right, we'll 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 adjust things. Also, it's not gonna stay kind of this these flat colors. Uh, because I do do a lot of blending modes on top of of the art to try to color correct it all so that it all looks cohesive and nice and yeah. Alright. Next thing, lighting. And I didn't put on the blending mode. There we go. By the way, he is wearing Haziel's um, guards uniform, so the guards from her um, that she hires, they have a different uniform than the royal guards. She's not for the all the red and shit that they wear. She likes yellow and purple. Yeah. There we go. Oh, Song of Storms. <laughs> this and Cass's song uh, from Breath of the Wild is one are, are my favorite uh, Zelda songs. I find my art very shy, quote unquote. Ow, Elijah. Shiny. When I do the, the, the lighting and stuff, it's just, it's a lot of harsh highlights, but it, I don't, I'm trying to like streamline things. And if I sit there and do all the like soft shading and stuff, it takes me forever. Because I do do soft shading in in um in one of the um what you might call it uh, colorist jobs that I do because I do do soft shading because it, it fits their style more and it takes me twice as long to do. I don't know how people do. Off shadings fast. <laughs> mm. I do try to limit the, sh the the lighting though. 
There's still soft lighting, it's just... It's... It's over the entirety of the piece instead. Learning Cass's song. Ooh. I love Cass's song. I haven't gotten through Breath the um, I wanted to call it Breath of the Wild too. <laughs> I haven't gotten through Tears of the Kingdom. Um But I'm hoping that there's something similar to Cass's song in that. Because I do like... I did, I, it was sad that they, they took out all the... They ch changed it to like ambient music. And Cass's song is pretty much the only one that's there that isn't just ambient music. <laughs> I think we're gonna finish this soon. Oof. Oh, so um, I got this DIY little book nook thing. I was uh, doing it during the eclipse, by the way. <laughs> I almost missed the eclipse because I, I forgot. I, like, it was so, like, into the, the, whole, the whole book nook DIY thing that I was like, wait. Oh, it's past three. The eclipse. Is it done? And then I realized, though, it took like a freaking hour for the eclipse to start. Well, it started, and then it took an hour for it to be a total eclipse. Um, but I'm still not done with it. It took me all day during the eclipse, and I still have half of it to do. I did most of the big things, um, but it's like waiting for the, the glue to dry and stuff. It's 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 called Kiki's um, Magic Emporium. You can get it at Michael's if you have a Michael's in your country. Um, but yeah, uh, it's super cute, super super cute, but so like labor intensive. <laughs> uh, but I was trying to do something other than like comic pages. And I, I thought it was going to be, like, something really fast to do, and it took me all day! And I'm not even- I'm not even done with it. <laughs> this is a once-in-a-lifetime- Yeah! 
Uh, I mean, technically, we'll probably see another eclipse in the next 20 years. I, I don't know about you, but I'll, like, I think I'm going to be alive in 20 years. <laughs> and, and by another eclipse, I mean, like, another total eclipse, I believe, is what we get. We get it every, like, we get it every year and a half. But we don't get a total eclipse for every 20 years. At least that's what the news said. I don't know how true that is. So if it's not true, I'm so sorry. Is that a dare? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> All right. Um, we are almost done. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. And then twenty fifth. No, not fifteen. Twenty percent, please. Alright, and then, and then, and then, and then, I am going to do this, and this. I do the line colors after because um, wherever there's going to be the bounce slide, I don't want to do the line co color on. There we go. There. Alright, so a few things. This. Elijah! Okay. Right. Okay, and... Gossin Blur... Stop it! Stop it! Enough is enough! Okay, and do this, and Gossip Blur this. There we go. Glowy, 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 glowy effects. Alright. Now. Boop. Oh. 
We are also going to go here and do this. And then this is the water. Here it is. Okay. And then we're going to do that. And we're going to do this. Stop it! Sweet summer child, stop it! He is being a menace to society. There we go. And then... Dun 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 dun. We're gonna do this... Red. Red. Color. Oh wait, hold up. Maybe fill? Yep, okay, fill. As you can see, it's starting to Now, color look up. This is where magic happens. He loves me so much, he wants to keep jumping at my chair. Yeah! Trying to look for one that is not too far off from the color but adds a little more purple to it. Oh, Elijah. Yes, what do you want? Something like this, but less, you know, it, it's too, <laughs> it's too faded. I have like over 300 of these, by the way. <laughs> I just kind of go down. Because there's no point of remembering the name of it. Um, it's uh, different every time. There we go. Maybe... Wait. Yeah, it's something like that. Crisp winter. No. Never mind. Not what I wanted. to wash it out like some of these are doing come on give me the ones with the purple in them 
Ah, damn it. Ah, stop it. Elijah. We hit one that, um, kind of uh, dies. <laughs> It looks so bleak, but it also, like, it looks good. Can you change the opacity on the filter? Yes, I can. I can change the opacity on the filters. Um, it looks so bleak. It looks kind of good bleak. I don't know why. Wait, uh, I can change the look there. It's less. Um... Hold on, let's see. Maybe that, and maybe I'll just add the purple myself. Uh, saturation. No, not saturation. Hey! Overlay? The overlay. Maybe it's hue that I want. Stop it! Elijah! Add some blues. Get rid of it a bit. Okay. I think... But I do want... There's... I want this. Hold on. I'll show you. I want the red to pop a little more. Hmm. I could also Color back in just slightly, like that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, I took away some of the blue. There we go. I think, I think that looks good. By the way, that's just my test. Uh, that's where the the title will go. It's just it's it's not the color that the title's gonna be right now. But let's see. All right. I think we are done. Let me just. Sign this. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I decided that I was going to sign it with my actual name. There we go. <laughs> there we go. It's a strong contrast to the last one, which was this one. Really colorful, very purple. This one, which was really blue. And this one just looks really bleak and I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, am I starting to buffer a lot? I'm sorry. 
Uh, it's probably because I was loading some things. Oh, no, it says error. Hold on. I think it's, um... It's just the stream. You gotta wait for it to get out of its, uh, little stupid thing that it's doing. You wanna open studio? Come on. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just buffering. Sorry about that. Uh. All right. Well. That is done. Now watch the magic. This this is this is how I do the comic uh, covers. So we got this one. We get rid of that. Save as. Should probably save it before I save over, because I always save over it. I don't you know. Um, make sure it's on all of there we go. Oh, no. being difficult. Okay, there we go. Ah, it's still got a white line at the bottom. What the hell? What? Yeah? Hi. Hello! I don't know if you guys can hear him meow. <laughs> His meows are on a high freaking fre frequency. Nine, chapter nine. Let me actually get the the actual. What do you mean, comic information not found? Ow! 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 What the fuck, Elijah? Go away! Go away! Oh, that's why. Okay, never mind. Uh, 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 uh. Manage storylines. Buried memories. There we go. Now, this is where we need to figure out a color. Hey, 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 get down, get down. Who said you can get up? No. 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 Okay. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Sorry, he was, um, biting me. <laughs> it was getting annoying. Uh, okay. 
and trying. Okay, what are the colors of the last few? I tried not to have the same color for each each uh, title. This one's orange. That one's green. That one's pink and blue. That one's teal and blue. That one's pink. That one's purple and blue. That one's red and purple. That one's red and darker purple. That one's red and red. Um, running out of colors. <laughs> Bye. Hope you had a nice time. Sorry for the buffering at the uh, at the end of this. Is that too? Yeah, that's too close to that. Um. How about? Wait. Wait. I know. I know. Yellow. And purple. Why those colors? 